Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at why your excuses are killing your chances of enjoying your life. As always please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them to enjoy their motherhood too. If I had a penny for every time I'd been asked for advice and then the person had just hit me with a barrage of excuses of why that wouldn't work for them, I would be a gazillionaire. I mean, it is ridiculous. Why go out of your way to ask for advice and seek the help and then not be willing to try what's been given to you? I mean, these, these are people telling me it's not going to work without even trying it once let alone consistently putting the effort in over a certain amount of time to see if it can really impact. Change is hard. It's not going to be easy. It's going to seem tricky and difficult. Even change for good is hard. If it wasn't, we'd all be fit and healthy and exercising regularly and eating a balanced diet. But we're not because it's changing and changing is difficult. What you need to understand is that if you have going to someone and asking for their advice, you really need to believe in who they are and what they're going to deliver to you as a solution to your problem. There is no point in going to someone asking for life advice if their life is a complete mess. In the same way, I always say uh, fitness wise, would you go to an instructor or a personal trainer that doesn't have uh, the body that you want to have? It's about your vision of where you want to go. So you need to be per picking a person, when it comes to asking advice, picking a person that resonates with you. I like a lot of muscle definition. So if I'm gonna get fitness advice, it's gonna be someone with lots of muscle definition. But it's also not gonna be someone that relies on any kind of chemicals to get them there. If I'm asking advice on how to improve my energy, I'm not gonna be asking someone that necks lots of cans of Red Bull because I don't wanna be necking lots of cans of Red Bull even if it gets me the same result. I'm gonna to go to someone that offers healthy, real food ways of improving their energy. If you're really gonna believe in the advice you're given, it's got to be someone that resonates with you. Otherwise, you are destroying your chances of ever moving your life forward. One of the biggest life lessons I had was being willing to learn and open to new knowledge. And I will admit, for a long time, I thought I knew it all. And then I realized my life was a complete and utter disaster, a complete and utter mess, and clearly I had some things to learn. And once I started learning things, implementing them, realizing the awesome results, I became much more open to learning more things. See it like snowballs, it's really good. But making that first step was a conscious decision. I made a conscious choice to start listening to the experts, to pick my experts better, and to really buy into what they were selling, for want of a better word, even though a lot of them weren't charging me. It's just free advice. But even if it is free advice, don't put any less value on it. There's something wonderful in the world when people just want to give their knowledge and give their skills. And don't get me wrong, we have to charge for some things because otherwise we can't afford to like eat and live and things. But Putting out a certain amount of free content into the world is part of keeping the world going and part of putting goodness into the world as far as I'm concerned. So don't devalue advice just because it's free. In the end, it's only you that can stop making these excuses. You need to have a big enough, strong enough why as to why you want to move your life forward. Take the advice and implement it and really go after what it is you want. I'd love to hear about some of the lessons that you've learned, so please pop those down in the comments below. You can also come and share your story over on our Super Mums community group on Facebook, which I will link in the description also. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a Super Mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.